Are you ready to dive into the real estate market of the North Austin suburbs? In this video, I'll be unpacking the housing market for September 2023, revealing key insights and trends that could impact your property decision. You don't want to miss this valuable data-packed video for future home buyers and sellers in this area. If you are new here, welcome to my channel, Living in the North Austin Suburbs. I'm Jenny Wagner. I'm a realtor here in Cedar Park, Texas. I'm ready to help you find the perfect home in this fantastic area. Contact me to tap into my local knowledge of the Cedar Park and surrounding areas, and let's make your real estate goals a reality. Okay guys, so we, um, I'm going to take you guys into the real estate housing market. Um, I've run some data for September 2023 and also going to specifically talk about each suburb of kind of what you can expect as far as pricing and new construction. So we are going to start off with Cedar Park. So Cedar Park, Texas, uh, September 2023, uh, we are sitting on about 1.7 months of inventory. So that's about a 32% decrease than where we were last year. The median sold price was $465,000, and that is a 14% decrease from where we were uh, last year. Then median days on market came to about 18 days, and that's about a 25% decrease from where we were last year. So specifically for Cedar Park, um, so I did run the numbers. So this, this was as of October 5th of 2023, and there are about 98 homes for sale right now in Cedar Park. Uh, new construction, there are a few opportunities to buy new construction here in Cedar Park, um, single family and townhomes, but it is very limited in Cedar Park. Uh, the starting list price of those homes that I mentioned, um, so basically, you know, what's the cheapest you can get here in Cedar Park? Like what's the most affordable if you're if you're on a pretty tight budget? You can find a pretty decent home in Cedar Park for the mid $300,000 range. Um, the median list priced right now for those homes that are active is around $549,000. So just to give you some perspective of kind of what what's going on you know, right now in Cedar Park. There's not too many homes for sale right now in Cedar Park. Um, I just think people are just staying put right now. They're, they don't really, um, you know, unless they really need to sell, people are just not selling their homes right now just because of interest rates. Um, but you can still, you know, you can still find a pretty decent home in Cedar Park, um, you know, for the 300, the mid 300 to 400, thousand dollar range okay, so we're going to move on to georgetown so georgetown um they are sitting on about 3.3 months worth of inventory so that's an increase of three percent um, and this is going to be year over year median sold price for georgetown was 472 uh that actually was a little bit of an increase from where we were last year so um which is kind of it's interesting uh and then median days on market you know 49 days right now for Georgetown and that's an increase of 188. So for Georgetown, there are tons of new construction. There, there are currently 892 homes for sale in Georgetown. So compare, you know, some Cedar Park, there's only like 98. Georgetown has 892 homes. A lot of those, majority of those homes are gonna be new construction. So there are tons of opportunities in the Georgetown area for new construction. I mean, all different price points, all different types of homes, different, I mean, builders. I mean, uh, there, you know, you do have a really good, good opportunity right now to buy new construction in Georgetown. Um, so starting list price right now out of those 892 homes that I mentioned, you can actually find something in the high $200,000 price point. Now there isn't going to be a whole lot in that price point, but it does exist and that that's 
pretty, that's pretty crazy because I haven't really seen prices that low in a long time. Um, so high 200,000, low 300,000, you can find a home there um, in Georgetown. The median list price though out of those homes are uh, $525,000. So for Hutto, um, relatively newer kind of suburb area uh, that I just recently started, you know, getting some information. It's super affordable out there compared to some of these other areas that I do. And so it started getting a little bit more popular with some of the clients. Um, months of inventory stayed the same in Hutto. So 2.3 months worth of inventory out there in Hutto. The median sold price um, was about 370,000 and that's a 12% decrease from where we were last year. Median days on market is 28 days and that's a 87% increase from where we were last year. So Hutto, um, growing area out there, um, it, you know, the where, the where it's situated, it's close to Round Rock. You've got your, you know, I-30 toll, uh, 130 toll, excuse me, um, pretty close by, you know, 35. So you commute wise, it's pretty easy to get to and get out of Hutto. Lots of new construction as well. Um, there are about 249 homes for sale right now in Hutto. Um, and the starting list price is gonna run you around like the low $300,000 uh, price point. Um, the median list price right now for those homes that are listed is $397,000. So, I mean, you could potentially, you know, find a pretty decent, even new home in the mid $300,000 price point. Um, so if you're definitely kind of on a budget, I know with interest rates, you know, being higher, if you're not able to get some kind of a seller concession and helping you with the buy down rate, um, you know, maybe your budget needs to be a little bit lower. I, you know, Hutto is a really is a really great area to consider, and there are lots of new construction, different builders, different types of homes out there as well. So Lago Vista is going to be out there, kind of towards Lake Travis, so kind of on the west side, uh, northwest side of Austin, and um, there are about. Uh, excuse me, let's do the data first. <laughs> um, right now they are sitting on about five months worth of inventory. So that's a slight decrease from where they were last year. The median sold price for September and Lago was about 515. And that's actually a pretty significant increase from where we were last year. So 14% increase. Uh, median days on market, 64 days. Uh, for, for Lago, so that's a 256 increase out there in Lago. Um, so for Lago, you know, 157 homes for sale right now, and um, lots of new construction out there as well, uh, different price points. Um, you're looking at about the mid to high $300,000 price point out there. The median list price right now for those homes that are for sale is around five hundred and fifty-nine thousand. So there are a lot, a lot of new construction, um, nice, you know, nice, really nice new construction homes out there. So that's kind of where we are for Lago. Leander, they are sitting on about two point six months worth of inventory, so four percent decrease from last year. Um, the median sold price is about four hundred and eighty-one thousand. That's a nine percent decrease from last year. Median days on market is about twenty-seven days, and that's a twenty-nine percent increase from where we were last year. So for Leander, um, right now there are about four hundred and seventy homes for sale. A lot of those are new construction. There's tons of, you know, opportunity for, for new construction out there in Leander. Starting list price for those homes that are for sale, low 300s, so low 300s. Uh, the median list price comes out to about 597,000. Um, so again, a lot of these like higher, higher list price for what's for sale right now. I mean, most of this stuff is in like new construction. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, Liberty Hill, they are sitting on about 4.3 months worth of inventory. 
So that's an increase of 30%. Um, 512,000 was the median sold price out there in Liberty Hill. That's a 9% decrease. And 78 days is the median days for Liberty Hill. So that's 169 increase for Liberty Hill. So Liberty Hill, um, there are about 300 and 96 homes for sale right now in Liberty Hill. Uh, tons of new construction out there as well, um, specifically like the Santa Rita, Santa Rita Ranch area. They've got tons of new construction going on. Again, different price points, you know, array of builders. Um, the median list price right now for those homes that are for sale in Liberty Hill is, is around the $600,000 mark. Okay, so gonna move on to Fluverville. Fluverville is another area that I kind of was, start, was starting to get a little bit of popular too with some clients. And so I kind of wanted to maybe throw this one in there as well and start really kind of diving into Fluverville. So, um, 2.2 months worth of inventory right now is what Pflugerville has um, as far as homes. The median sold price is about 425000 so that's about 7% decrease from where we were last year. Median days on market, about 37 days, increase of 106. Uh, Pflugerville, there are new construction options out there in Pflugerville. I would not say there's not as much as like the north, like Liberty Hill, Leandro, you know, those north suburbs. Um, but there are some opportunities in Pflugerville for uh, new construction. Right now, there's about 300 homes for sale, and the low $300,000 is going to be your starting listed price, and then the median is going to be around 466. So, the Pflugerville area is definitely going to be a little bit more affordable. Um, not as affordable as Hutto, but it is going to be more affordable than some of these other areas. So Round Rock, they are sitting on about 3.2 months worth of inventory. That's an increase of 14%. The median sold price was 400. Median sold price was 449,000. So that's a 4% decrease from where we were last year. Median days on market is about 32 days, and that's a 3% decrease from where we were last year. So for Round Rock, starting to get a little bit more new construction out there in Round Rock. Um, you know, a lot of like condo styles, single family as well. Um, there are about 424 homes um, right now that are listed for sale in Round Rock. Um, starting price, so believe it or not, in Round Rock, there are sometimes opportunities where homes will come on the market in the high 200s. So just like Georgetown, Round Rock, you will see some pop up for the high 200s. Um, mid low 300 is going to be kind of your starting price for those ones that are listed in Round Rock and then the median list price right now is about 481 so still um, you know not as affordable as some of the Pflugerville Hutto area Round Rock is kind of like your next in line as far as um, affordability um, I want to say for buyers right now I know that interest rates are high they are higher than they've been in decades i get that but it truly has never been a better time to buy um and this is not a sales tactic or pressuring you to buy obviously we would set a consult and we would kind of go over your situation and and what area you're looking for and what budget and and certain things going on right now but i get emailed daily from builders offering um, crazy incentives and you know slashing their prices and, and working with buyers on interest rates you know whether that be a buy down interest rate or a fixed I mean they're like because right now people people are paused um, I think there's a lot of fear out there I don't know I don't know why that is I mean I bought my first home in 2008 and we were going through like a financial crisis at the time. I was 25 years old, so I really didn't know what was going on. I just knew that I wanted to buy a house and I didn't have to put any money down on the house. Um, I didn't have to pay any closing costs. Like it was, it was great. And so 
even though right now I don't think that we are in the same situation as we were in 2008, um, we're in a completely different situation. It's just that people are paused right now because there's a lot of fear with the interest rates and losing their jobs, but you can get such a good deal right now. So um, it may not be the right time for you to buy, but it may be the right time for you to buy. You just kind of have to work through it and talk with someone and, and, and see if you can financially do it. If so, I'm telling you, I can get you a really, really sweet deal, resell or new construction. You want to have an agent for either, either or, because I can, I can give you data that a sales rep at a builder is not going to give you. So you definitely want to reach out to me if you're interested in new construction. You definitely, you know, want to reach out to me if you don't want to buy new construction, but um, it is definitely a great time to buy. Sellers, you know, um, I, really we're only seeing people sell right now if they have to sell. Uh, so um, it's just one of those things to where um, they're really looking for turnkey homes. It's got to be priced right. Um, you've really got to help with some buyer incentives. If you want to be competitive, um, you're going to have to be a little bit more patient just because it's really, it's really hard to find buyers right now um, to buy homes. So um, it, it's never been crucial to partner with someone that really knows the market that you're in and has a good strategy and uh, pricing it right and making sure the house sticks out um, because that's pretty, that's gonna, that's basically what it's going to take right now. Um, unless you're in a lower price point, like, you know, the lower price point homes, you know, will go quicker than, you know, the higher price points. But that's kind of where we are right now, guys, for, um, you know, September 2023 and what's going on right now um, with the North Austin suburbs. All right. I appreciate you spending some time with me today.